Hello everyone, welcome back to Crafts by the Bow. Today I'm making my second card with the Floral Essence set and it's a beautiful photopolymer set. Not all of my pieces are in here, some of them are on the stamp blocks ready to stamp with. But when it's a photopolymer set, it means that you can see right through and it makes it really easy for positioning all the stamps. So I'm using this set and I'm also using the rectangle stitched framelits. And when you use these and put them through on a piece of card, let me get the piece that I've cut from. It comes out like this. So the piece that you cut has the stitched edge and the piece that you cut it from also has a stitched edge. And this is quite nice to use for a window on a card or a background frame because it means you've already got the little pattern on there you don't need to do much else with it now, I'm not using this piece today but I am using the piece that I cut out and I'll show you which one I used in a few moments so we need to start with half a piece of rich raspberry card and this has been cut lengthways so the piece that you're left with is 11 inches long by four and a quarter wide. And this piece has already been scored at five and a half so that it makes um, our normal fold size card which fits in our ordinary envelopes. But what we're going to do is score it again here and fold this piece back to make the Z fold. I'm just going to get my scoreboard. And I want it to fold this way. It doesn't matter when you're scoring if you do two and three quarters and then five and a half, or you've got it scored at five and a half already, and then you go back and do a two and three quarter score. It really doesn't matter which way you do it. So I'm just going to score on the two and three quarter line. I would if I could just see. There we go. Don't need this again for a while. So now our card folded in the middle it now has this second score and you just fold that back on itself and excuse me while I just get my bone folder and you just go down the score line to make sure that that fold is like that Z fold whichever way you put it I suppose that looks more like a Z it now creates a different kind of opening because you can see the inside here. So the next thing I need to do is to cut my card pieces. And I've cut a plain white card piece that's going to go inside. And it's cut at five and a quarter along by four. I've cut another piece with my stitched frame, uh, my stitched dies, the rectangle ones, and I've used one, two, three, the fourth rectangle along. So this is the one, you see? So I'm counting from the front or from the middle, one, two, three, four, and I just ran it through the big shot. I didn't do anything fancy because that's going to be fancy enough. Now we need a DSP piece for the front and sometimes when I make these cards I'll do another piece of cardstock and then a piece of DSP or you can just use a piece of DSP. If you're just using the DSP on its own you need that cut at four by two and a half. And so when you get this piece in as well can you see how the top and the bottom line up and you get just the same border all the way around. So if you're using just DSP, this is the size, four by two and a half. But if, like me today, you want to do an extra layer, I've cut this piece of card at four by two and a half, and I've cut this just an, sort of an eighth of an inch smaller. I haven't made the quarter of an inch border. So, let me just see. So this is cut at two and a quarter. No, it's not. It's not two and a quarter. Let me just check. It's two and um, three eighths by three and 
seven eighths. Two and three eighths by three and seven eighths. And that just gives a skinny little border around it. Okay. And that is all the pieces we need. So there's not much cutting. There's uh, not many pieces to it. If you do need the sizes, just check on my blog, the craftsbythebow.blogspot.com because all the sizes will be on there for you. Now, I'm going to attach a couple of pieces and then I'm going to do my stamping. So first, I'm going to do this left-hand side part of the Z-fold. And I'm using my snail today because, believe it or not, I've just about run out of the Fast Fuse. All that that I ordered so long ago, oops, and uh, nearly run out. I did love that Fast Fuse though. I love Snail too, but uh, Fast Fuse was my absolute favourite. Okay, just going to pop my glasses on so I can see a nice straight line on this. And I'm just going to put it on so that we've got that even border all the way around. And then I'm going to attach my DSP. And it was a tiny little scrap that I had left from the cards I've been making with the perennial essence paper. So you don't even need much. And I just chose something that had sort of um, the rich raspberry colouring in it. You won't really see these little flowers, but you will see just a little bit of colour by the time I put my little Z on. You see how it will just pick out that rich raspberry colour. Okay, time to do our stamping. So I've got a collection of the stamps out. I've got this little flower. I've got this little centrepiece. I've got this tiny little leaf and this bigger leaf. And that's all. I'm not using many colours. Oh, I do beg your pardon. I've also got this sentiment. The old days are beautiful that begin with you. But I'm not using many colours. I'm just using the colours that are in my cardstock. So I'm going to get my sentiment first. The old days are beautiful sentiment. And with Memento Black, I'm just going to ink it up. And I want to stamp it so it's roughly in the middle, but over to the left-hand side a bit. So I'm just, just making sure that that's level there. And I can't always see terribly well when I'm filming, so I'm just going to stand up as a stamp. I hold it there for a couple of seconds. There, perfect. That's just where I wanted it. Okay. And then I'll just put the lid on here while I stamp my flower. Here's that smaller flower and I'm using the rich raspberry. I'll pop a little piece of scrap underneath, I think. There we go. Because I, I might go over the edge of the card. Uh, and uh, I really don't want to get a lot of ink all over. Okay, so this I'm just going to stamp in the top right hand corner. If it goes slightly over the edge, it doesn't matter. There, that's the only piece I need for that. And I'm going to use the stamp cleaning pad because I've used pinks and reds. This cleans it off really, really well. You can see mine's getting a bit dirty and a bit used. Uh, we were using it at class one night and it's... Uh, a little bit full I think but you can get a refill for this and if you find that it's starting that it doesn't take all the red colour ink off then you just add a little bit of refill I'm also because I haven't got water available I'm also just going to take that excess off with a wipe there we go I don't need that one again for a little while Let's close this up. I'm going to take my crushed curry. Didn't want to open then. And the little tiny insert, the little middle of the flower. You could colour this with blends if you didn't want to stamp. I just like that little, you see the, the little um, fancy edging that it has and the little white spots. I think that looks nice in there. 
That's all I need the crushed curry for. And then I'm going to need, let's take it off this one. I'm going to need another block. So I'm putting the larger leaf on. And on my smaller block, I've got the small leaf. And then with my memento again, I'm just going to put these leaves on. So I've got the big one first. And I'm not going to mask the flower or anything. I'm just going to stamp up as close as I can to it. And I'm just going to do that on an angle. Don't worry if it goes over the writing a little bit. That's completely fine. I'm going to put one on this bottom corner as well. And then a little bit, just sort of on an angle here, halfway up. There. And now you can see, I just went over a little bit. So that's why I wanted the scrap there. And before I do anything else with that, I want to use my inside piece. And I'm just going to put some leaves. I'm not going to do any of the flowers. So I'm just going to put a little bit at that bottom right hand corner. And I want to put some on the left here. You won't see this until the card is open. It's just nice to have a little bit of decoration. And then I've got that little leaf. I'm just going to add a few little bits to these leaves that I've stamped. And sort of joining it on a little bit so that it looks like you know, it's all from the same leaf or the same plant. Okay, so that's my inside piece. I'm going to do a couple of little extra pieces on here. I want to have another little leaf up here. Just like there and a little piece down there okay so that's it for stamping so it's quite a simple stamped card there isn't a um you know like a lot of variety or masking or anything difficult at all oh actually i'll bring that back so i'm just going to color my leaves in uh -huh. i'm going to use one of my stamping blends just the light old olive if you wanted to do this with ink instead let me just turn that around if you wanted to do it with ink instead, you could use um, like a, a blending brush or you could just use your aqua painter. I'm not doing a lot of shading or anything. I'm literally just doing quick leaves. But if you wanted to spend more time and go over and shade, that would look really pretty too. Now remember that these do bleed through. So you would be able to see them. If this is not taped down or glued down, you would be able to see on the back. But I'm going to show you something for the Z fold piece that will stop it, stop you seeing where it's bled through. If you did it with an aqua painter or the blending brush, then you wouldn't see anything through it. It really is just these blends that go through the card. Okay, so you can see that's not the best colouring. It's just sort of a, a representation of colouring. And I'm just going to do the same on the front. Now, don't forget, we've only got one week left for those bonus vouchers when we're ordering um, in July. So for every $60 Canadian that you spend, Stampin' Up! will give you a free $6 coupon to spend in August. And uh, I, I may or may not have quite a few of those. It just means that you've got a little bit extra of your order for next month, which is nice. And for those people who have asked me about becoming a demonstrator or taking the starter kit, um, there we are. 
sorry, I was just concentrating on that. For those people who have asked me about the starter kit, that's still available for July and for August. And it is really good value at the moment. I will put a little link and some more information about that on my blog. So if you're interested, just check back and uh, look on my blog. And there's more information there. Okay, let's go back to our card. I'm going to attach this little piece on the inside. And if you don't have snail, this is perfectly fine to add with tear and tape, or you can use your Tombow. Okay, I'm trying to get that centered so that when this closes, you see those white lines are level all the way along. And then I'm going to attach my little Z-fold picture here. Now, you could, if you turn the card over and really squint, you can see a little bit of the green blending underneath. Not too much. And to be fair, I don't think many people would even see that. But if that bothers you, what you could do is use the... Okay, go back to these. Use the next smallest of the dies. So just the third one up. Do your stamping on that and then cut a little tiny piece of card that would match the back of the card so that you can put that on there. You could use the bigger one as well. You don't have to use a smaller one. I think that's just a looks quite a nice sort of size. It's pleasing to the eye there. And then if people did happen to turn your card over and really squint to try and see anything, all they would see is the matching cardstock. But for me, I'm, I'm not bothered about whether somebody turns my card upside down to try and see that tiny little bit of blending. Okay. I'm only going to attach adhesive to this left-hand side of the card here so that it will still open. Oh. Using it upside down. Okay, so I've just put two rows of adhesive on. And then you just need to check to see where you want this to go. If you want it to go exactly halfway across, or if you want it to be a little bit more to the left-hand side, that's fine as well. I'm just going to put mine so that it's about halfway across. And there we are. That's a simple Z-fold card. Now, if you wanted to brighten it up or add anything else, you could add some little rhinestones on the front, maybe a couple on the front and one on here. You could add a little piece of ribbon on here before you glued that down. Let's just show you. I know this is not quite the right color, but you could have a little piece of ribbon and it would go underneath here as well. You could tie a little knot in the ribbon here so that it over overhung the edges of uh, your stamp set here. So there's lots of ways to brighten it up a bit more as well. But honestly, who wouldn't love that? You don't need to be brightening it up if you don't want to. So there we go. I hope you like that. Check out the bottom of my blog for the information about joining. And remember that those July bonuses have only a week left. So thank you very much for watching me. I hope you enjoyed that. Please share and like if you did. And then that way more people will get to see them. And we will have sort of more people that follow us. And uh, we'll be getting more ideas too. So thanks very much indeed, everybody. I'll see you all again very, very soon. Bye-bye.